First at four, a new list explains what day to day activities put you most at risk for getting coronavirus. Eyewitness News reporter Jordan Foster shows us the Texas Medical Association scale. This is the list of things people do every day, and it's ranked by coronavirus exposure risk levels. And you may be surprised where some things fall. These are experts in their fields, and they took into account statistics from past infections, though we've never had any pandemic quite like this before to compare with. Dr. Diana Fight, president of the Texas Medical Association, says despite what people may think, things like grocery shopping and pumping gas are actually low risk activities. The thought is that it doesn't seem to live very long on the metal surface. It is outside, so uh, there's just not as much opportunity for it to stay in place. But on the flip side, things like working out at the gym, going out to the bar, or even going to church could put you at higher risk of catching coronavirus. People singing, uh, things where they're not just a soft voice, but they're speaking or singing like they will have aerosols, more aerosols from their mouths. Dr. Fight says the data shows doing inside activities in general could put you at higher risk. Not on the list, protest. We kind of thinking that would be included in events at the beat, the things where people can't socially distance. Which would put it only at a moderate risk level. When it comes to hospital visits, which is also not listed, the doctor says at this point it would be considered low risk. Actually, we're being very safe in places like that, and we're having people not come in for things that could potentially be more serious, catching the coronavirus. Jordan Foster, Kins 5, Eyewitness News.